Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I thought today that I would do something that I'm pretty sure I haven't done on my channel before, like 99.9% .9 positive, um, and that is a haul of more than one thing. Uh, I've got three things here to unbox with you, um, and they were actually what I bought myself for my birthday, which was on the 16th of June. Uh, so the last one came in today, and I kind of I was toying with the idea of doing three separate videos, but I thought change it up and just do one with you know multiple things in maybe it'd be a little bit more fun to watch um and then if you do have any questions about any of the items i'm going to show you then you know maybe next time i can do a video on that specific item but i wanted to share them with you now normally um not every year but um i do like to save up to buy myself a bag on my birthday. I've done it for years and um, it's something I always look forward to. Um, I think it's the thrill of the chase, like saving up all my money and then, um, you know, finally getting enough to choose something around my birthday time um, and then waiting for it to arrive. I just get so excited. Um, but in all honesty, I would say probably for the last year or so, um, since I got my, um, speedy 30 i've not really been like lusting after any bags whatsoever i've um all but completely stopped um looking for bags um so, like it used to be my every waking thought was like what bag am i going to save up for next um but i've just not felt the need it's not like i don't like bags anymore because i do they're like my favorite thing ever um i just feel like i've kind of got everything that i want so i'm kind of happy with it now but instead i thought rather than getting a bag use the money that i was saving up for a bag and put it towards maybe some other things that i've that I've wanted for a while. I mean, one of these things I have literally had on my wish list for probably five years, and I've just never, um, you know, took the plunge and actually got it. So let's get opening them so this doesn't go on too long. I've got three quarters of a battery on my camera, um, and I chat for England, so let's get going before that runs out. So I've got one from Saint Laurent, I've got one from Gucci, and I've got one from Louis Vuitton. Uh, I think I'm going to open the Louis Vuitton first. Just a little thing, but let me just start opening. Otherwise, I'll we'll be here all day. This item is tiny. That's it in there. Oh my god! You know it's small when the the tag is actually smaller than the item <laughs> that's ridiculous but look it's still come with the nice ribbon and the tag that's so cute and my paperwork there but to the side we don't need that and i think with this one i think i wrote myself a birthday note usually if there's an option i do do it did i oh no Okay, not with this one, I didn't. But anyway, here we go. This is the item. Are we focusing today? Sort of. I'm going to bring it a bit nearer if I can. Oh, here we go. So here we go. And it comes with just a little drawer here. And inside tiny tiny dust bag and a little booklet as well I'll show you the item first and then we can look at the booklet oh my god seriously for the the amount these things cost you'd think that maybe the inner packaging would be slightly better um 
because this is a necklace and this is how it has come that's crazy so it's kind of in this like like uh cellophane kind of well actually do you know what even though that's not exactly posh uh it works because that's completely kept the chain straight uh so that it's not all tangled just try and get this out of here so what i chose for myself oh hang on we've got a bit more down here so do apologize if there is any noise by the way and uh, obviously i've got both my kids still off school and my dogs because we've closed the dogs away and it was kind of i was being all shifty because i was getting my camera stuff out they think they're going for a walk so they're a bit agitated at the moment um but yes anyway so this is what i chose for myself it is the louis vuitton locket necklace it's a little padlock um in sterling silver um and just a plain chain there i'll see if i can add some close-ups in to the video so it's a little bit clearer because i think the ring light and my window is kind of blurring it out but um yeah so you have the little let me see i don't know if i showed you the side with the writing on but it's got lb uh logo on there and i have a pet peeve with necklaces now i cannot wear necklaces that have a loose pendant on them that you know when the necklace kind of comes around and you end up with your dangly bit at the front or your your fastener at the front next to the pendant i like i hate it i mean i have got a beautiful tiffany's necklace uh up there on my lampshade and i never wear it because even though i absolutely adore it i can't deal with the um the chain moving around it drives me nuts so i always uh revert back to this which is my old faithful the pendant is attached to the chain and it doesn't move it's kind of stationary and that is why i really liked this necklace because that padlock instead of being a pendant let me see if i can show you is actually attached to the chain on either side so when you wear that that's not going to move it's going to stay just like that the fastener will stay at the back where it's meant to be um and much better and that's why i've kind of had my eye on it for ages i'm a little bit pissed off because when i first kind of fell in love with this necklace i'm pretty sure it was nearly a hundred pound cheaper than what i paid for it um this time because i paid 560 for this and I think when I first looked at it, it was like, yeah, it was about £450, I think. Maybe even less than that, actually. But I thought, is it going to be the same length as the one I already wear? Right, let's take this off. So this is what the necklace looks like on. Um, it's actually a really nice length. Uh, it's 20 inches long. Um, on this chain a nice um, even though the uh, pendant here is smallish it's it feels quite substantial because it's solid sterling silver yeah really pleased with that so that is birthday present number one if you do want any more details on these uh, items again let me know in the comments below or send me a message um, if enough people ask I will do a video trying to add a little bit more detail but <sighs> I do like to talk so I mean I'm 10 minutes in and I've already only spoken about one thing so let's get going oh I was going to say as well it does come with this little booklet that has oh I didn't tell you yeah so 
This costs £560. £200 of that money goes to UNICEF, um, which is for um, vulnerable children. Um, where's my phone? So yeah, the um, £200 from each sale is donated um, on your behalf to UNICEF to help children in emergencies and in vulnerable situations around the world. So yeah, you're paying, you know, definitely paying a premium for it being Louis Vuitton rather than, you know, a less prestige brand. Um, but £200 of that money is going to a good cause. So that kind of makes it a little bit more palatable. Um, and then the other little leaflet in here is just care instructions. Just about keeping it clean. So there we go, item number one. So I just opened the box off camera because I couldn't find my scissors. Uh, but this is the second item and it is from Gucci. So it comes with one of their little paper shop bags. Um, they always put a bag in with their items and I love that because if you're giving it as a gift, obviously that you can wrap it all up all posh and it's a really nice touch. And then inside. Now this one I'm pretty sure I did do a note with. Yep. Happy 38th birthday to me. So sad. I'm sure loads of you do it as well though, so I'm not going to feel too bad. And then just paperwork. And then we have this little box here. Um, just the plain cream and black box. And the little dust bag. Oh, I can smell this already. It smells delish. And inside here, this is the Gucci Animal Animalier key holder. And this is actually from the men's section. Um, I'm not sure why um, it's classified as men's, but um, I needed a new key holder. I've got my little Fendi. Uh, key pouch key holder thing but I was kind of missing having um one with the little key hooks in it again so this is the same as well the same size as the Louis Vuitton six ring key holder uh this is the one I am replacing and I'm replacing it because the button here is gnarly um all the leather has come off well it's not all come off but it looks ratty and I don't like that. I don't like that at all. And I can't get to a store to get them to replace the button. I was just going to get a new one of these and give this one to my daughter. But I showed my kids uh, this one on the website. And I showed them like uh, another one of these. I was going to get the one with LVs on it this time. Um, but they both said they liked the one with Vs on. So that made my mind up for me. Uh, so I went for this one, but let me just tuck my keys in there. So the Gucci one is slightly smaller, it's a little bit shorter. Um, I think it's the same width, yeah. Let's have a look inside because I did actually get this one personalised. So let's have a look. Yeah, there we go. It's got my initials in there. And loads of papers. So it comes with all the normal uh, like little care cards and the control card there. Then inside there is a piece of card. Honestly, this thing smells delicious. So delicious. And inside there are um, a place for six keys. There's also 
uh, this flap here, which I suppose you could put um, maybe some bank notes uh, under there and tuck them in that flap there. So there is a flap here also for the bank card or whatever you want to put in there. Um, the back is just plain. This is really um, durable leather. This I was a little bit worried about getting an all leather one that maybe it would be a bit soft. Uh, but this definitely feels quite sturdy. Um, but I just love this with the little metal B on the front there. I just think that's absolutely gorgeous. And this one does come with this um, ring, key ring, um, you know what I mean? Um, which is good because in my Louis Vuitton one, I have to keep my car key on this little um, extra bit. Um, I don't know if you can see there. Uh, just a little extra ring um, because it wouldn't, because it's got quite a big um, section where you loop it through, um, it's too thick to go on one of the hooks. So I had to put it on a ring and then put the ring on a hook. Um, which isn't ideal, but it's worked for me for the last few years. Um, but I have had this probably, I think I got it, yeah, 2016 I got this. So I've had this four years, um, and it's actually still in really good condition. I mean, considering I got it in the Rose Ballerine, it's not that dirty. Uh, the glazing... Is all still intact it really is only this button but that drives me nuts because it's like the first thing you see so and I fancy to change anyway so I am going to swap all of my keys out of that and put them in this new one so that is my second item and then on to the last item which is from uh, Saint Laurent let me just open the box so this is the last item uh, it comes with the paper wipe there and then black tissue paper and inside all the bubbles is this small box now this was an impulse buy this was not planned at all um, I've kind of been looking at it for a few months um, because of the colour but I knew that a sale would be coming up because Saint Laurent do seasonal sales where they kind of clear out all of their seasonal colours um, and you can pick up some really good deals I think usually it's 30% this was 30% off um, and I saw it and I thought I'll get it because it was the last one they always tell you if there's like one or two left on the website it was the last one and um, I thought if I don't like it, I can always send it back. So I'm going to see if I do like it. Um, but again, these they come in these gorgeous uh, black boxes. Um, and they're really nicely packaged. I love stuff from Sun on It's probably, after the of time, my favourite brand. Um, and this is... Just a dust bag. And it comes with the um, care booklet and the authenticity doofers in there. Now I've just had a glimpse of this and it's bright so prepare your eyes. This is all my days. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is the Sandoron Fragments, um, what's it called? Uh, Saint Laurent Fragments Zipped Card Case in Grain de Poudre Embossed Patent Leather. That is the longest item name ever. I did have to look up what Grain de Poudre um, meant, um, and it means tight wave tuxedo fabric. So it's like the fabric that tuxedos are made out of. Um, you know, that really uh, fine knit. 
um, that's what this is meant to look like. I think it just means small pebbling, um, if you can see there. So the pebbling on the Gucci uh, key case is a lot bigger than the pebbling on this card case. But I'm telling you, the picture on the website did not do this justice at all with the brightness. That is crazy. I think I'm going to have to keep it just because of the colour. But let's take that tag out to get the full glory. That's nuts. So I've heard nothing but good things about these little um, fragments card cases because of kind of how they're set up. It's very similar to the Fendi one that I unboxed. Um, it's actually downstairs at the moment. But I unboxed um, in my last video uh, with the multiple card slots on the front. There are one, two, three, four, space for five separate cards there. And I'm sure you can probably stack them as well. Uh, there is nothing on the back. Let me just fiddle with the lights because it's kind of making it look a bit white. And it's not white at all. It's very, very bright. Um, I'll, um, I'll film it a little bit with my phone and see if that can pick up the colour a bit more. But it's like neon, neon, neon. And I, don't, I feel like the light is um, washing it out a bit, making it look a bit like a lemon. And it's not, it's neon. Uh, but the only branding it has on it is here, Saint Laurent Paris, just there. Um, it has silver hardware uh, and it's like black zip. Inside, oh, it's actually lined in leather, probably not going to be able to see. Uh, but yeah, it's leather inside and it says Saint Laurent Paris made in Italy. Um, this one, unlike the Fendi one, this one does not come with the, uh, you know, like the key ring that's inside. This is just a card case. Um, but instead of being like a card case, you know, like a regular card case, it has the card slots at the front and the back uh, horizontally. This one is vertical. So I originally wanted the Louis Vuitton... I can't remember what it's called, but the same as this um, in the neon colour as well. But it's been sold out for months, like way before lockdown. It was already sold out. And I, I they had a few different colours, but all of them were sold out. So I saw that this one had gone into the sale. This was originally £200, but with the uh, private sale discount code that I got emailed to me, I got 30% off, which put the price down to 140. I have actually bought quite a few things through the uh, private sales that they do. Um, I'm pretty sure any time you buy something from Saint Laurent, uh, you, if you're on their mail list, you will get an email to say when their next sale is on. It's seasonal, so I think it's like twice a year. Um, last year I got my, um, my card case, the purple card case, the year before that I got a card holder in like a pale grey colour um, and both of those had 30% off and both of those items I've used to death. So just because they cost a bit less and they're seasonal colours doesn't make them any less desirable to me. I mean, um, I've got stickers on me. Um, I like the seasonal colours. I think that, you know, having something that is only around for one season makes it that little bit more unique um and then you don't see other people with the same things as you and i kind of like that um says the girl that's got the same bag as everybody else but you know what i mean so those are the things oh i'm wearing the other one um that i bought myself for my birthday um sorry i waffled on but what is new uh I'd love to know what you think. Um, I'm sure this one is going to um, divide opinions. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed sharing that with me. Um, I did have a lovely day and 
I spoiled myself rotten, obviously, but I also got spoiled rotten by my kids. I just wanted to show you the ring that my daughter got me as well. Um, she saved up all of her pocket money. She's only 13, um, so it must have taken her a while, but she bought me this Pandora ring, and it's got little um, love hearts all over it. And she did it all by herself. It was a complete surprise. Um, that she got me um, so she saved up all of her pocket money so out of everything I got I think that's probably the most special thing that I got for my birthday I will treasure that forever um, also got some trainers um, from the kids I got um, some Ferrero Rochers which is tradition because they're my absolute favourite um, or did I get a back massager because I'm an old lady? <laughs> I got loads of things and I had a lovely day even though I was in lockdown. I just stayed in with the kids and did nothing really which was very nice. Um, so again thank you for sharing in opening my presents. I do hope all of you are keeping well and not going out of your mind too much. Uh, thank God that the lockdown is starting to ease up a little bit now because I'm sure everyone's going stir crazy. I know I am. Um, so I know with everything that's going on, something like this is maybe a little bit um, not appreciated by some people, but I know that a lot of you like to watch these videos as a way to relax and kind of thinking about something else that isn't too serious. So. I hope that this just at least entertained you for a few minutes and um, took your mind off all the crap out, you know, elsewhere. So, thanks again. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.